Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and we received a special request from our subscribers and it's all about road lighting. After giving him all the links for road lighting uh, from Dialux YouTube tutorial, this one and this one, he's still not satisfied so we will um, run another calculation so he will understand more. He's complaining that he, he it's too long and cannot understand the tutorial and he wants a straightforward approach regarding his project so right now I open my dialogs Evo and uh, let's go and run the street lighting so here we go we open now our dialogs Evo file and we are now in the street lighting if you can check it here we can go back and forth with the building and in the street lighting so um, let's go and check this um, this is the plan view of the road uh, road or the street and then you can also see that one in uh, isometric you can actually increase your view from here to here so you have a better um, view and then of course he said that um, he has 1000 meters road and I think it's only a straight one and he said this, that the spacing of the pole is 10 meters he did not mention the height of the pole but I think that is the, the, the problem that he wants to know what is the height of the pole and what is the wattage that he needs to run a calculation to achieve all the lux levels for the, this road lighting using a 10 meter spacing pole and he said that the um, the width of the road is 10 meters so let's go and edit this one so click the road go to this um, tab and then yeah you can just say street one and then the width of the road let's change it into 10 meters but actually 10 meters is um, actually one lane is only 3.5 so if he has 10 meters then it means it has an emergency lane or a space between the, the solid line and uh, the gutter so I think either it's a emergency lane or uh, what we called you can say that is the laybys so now for that this this two lane is enough we have seven meters and then we will just add 1.5 and 1.5 to both sides so we can achieve the 10 meters width that he mentioned so for me I can add like um, emergency sorry let's make it uh, laybys make it two and then put the other one downward click the arrow so it will be like this and if you want to see this one and in, in your 3d you can do that and if you want to add the sidewalk you can also do that let's say let's add the sidewalk it is not part of his requirement but I will add the sidewalk and if we did not achieve the sidewalk requirements lighting then it's fine because we're going to concentrate only for the road lighting and then he said so let's go and check the laybys so we'll change this one into 1.5 meters only height will be the same the other one also let's make it 1.5 so now what we have the total width of uh, 10 meters road so if you want to check that one let's go and measure it so from here to here now it's 10 meters that's correct and then we have two lanes it's, it seems so he said that he needs uh, let's go for the um, sidewalk first then the sidewalk let's keep it two meters and 0.1 and also the other one yeah okay and so we, uh, it's better you to have a grass strip on the side so our view will much much nicer so let's add another grass strip I want both sides again and then put it down 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 so it will go to the other side of the road so now we have two grass strips and um, okay this is nice all right so he said that um, he has 10 meters spacing of the pole but he doesn't know what is the wattage and what would be the height of the pole so uh, let's go and select 
the luminaire. Okay, so let's go and select our fitting at the Thorn Lighting website. And let's go to the outdoor and go to this road lighting tab. And we will select some fittings. Let's try first because he did not mention if it's LED or metal halide or sodium. So I will just use the metal halide first and then later we will go for LED. So let's go and select for the meantime. Use this, let, let's use this filter and let's say we will get, um, let's go for HIT first. And then let's say we will get um, 140 watt. And let's say we use this one, Diana. This is a little decorative, but I like this one. So let's go and check the side entry. Click the dialog the dialog letter or word, and then it will go directly to the download. And click the download link, and then say you are going to use it. So I think this one. I'm using the Google Chrome, that's why it's different. But if you go, uh, if you are using a uh, in Internet Explorer, it will be different. It will say um, use or download. So it will go here now. See the Diana fitting or the, the Diana street lighting is now here. And then we will just drag and drop the Diana Luminaire. And then the Diana Luminaire is now here. Uh, the 3D is not good. I'm expecting a nice 3D, but it's not. Anyways, it's fine. So the parameters for this uh, street lighting is now here. Um, okay, let's go and say the either we can do um, both sides or the other side. All alternate. But because he did not mention it, we will just use one side. And it will be... Uh, we will uncheck the optimize because it says 15 meters and we will make it 10, mit 10 meters and then the boom angle will make it 5 degrees will make it 5 degrees and then the overhang will be 0.5 <coughs> you can see as, as, as soon as I change the parameters here in this side you can see in the 3d file that it's changing and then the pole rotation will be just the same and then luminous per pole make it one only and then pole distance from the roadway make it 1.5 so it will be on the pathwalk okay 1.5 is, is not enough so make it um, 2.5 meters okay now it's 2.5 but it's not good that it's in the middle of the pathwalk so let's make it 2 meters okay I think this is fine there, the offset from the pathwalk is 0.5 and then it's 2 meters away from the main line of the road. Now we have 10 meters spacing of the uh, pole and then the height would be, what would be the height? Ah, okay, so this is the height. So it's 8 meters and let's check if it's okay. So let's run. Uh, the calculation we did not achieve the EM so we will uncheck the sidewalk because it's not part of our calculation actually so grass strip we don't need to do that to check that one also to see that one also so it seems that we achieve all the lax value using the 8 meter high pole and 140 140 watt metal halide luminaire and using the 10 meter spacing of the pole so you can see it here let's go and check in the documentation and let's go and check the summary results for the roadway and it's all checked so we are so fine okay okay so we calculated properly the 10 meter spacing of um, luminaire with an 8 meter height pole and 140 watt metal halide actually in road lighting what you need to consider is what is the what would be the height of the pole what is the wattage of the fitting what is the lamp of the fitting and then uh, what is the maximum spacing and what is the maximum height that you can uh, achieve the lax value of this road lighting 
So most of the time, if you are speaking to the contractor or to the consultant, they are uh, talking differently because if the if you're talking to the contractor, they will ask you to please make the pole uh, lower <laughs> and the wattage much lower as long as you achieve the lux value. But of course, you have to lessen also the quantity of the pole because pole is very expensive compared to the luminaire sometimes. So, but if you are talking to the consultant, they will ask you to achieve the most uh, efficient lux value and the most efficient luminaire and uh, uh, the best design ever because they are not concerned of, sometimes they are not concerned of the, the, the price, but they are concerned of the performance of, performance and design of the project. So, yeah. Okay, so next uh, next part of this video is we will use the LED. Okay, we'll go now and select one LED fitting. And uh, let's see how it will be look like. So let's reset the filter and go to the road lighting tab. And let's select the best LED. So more filters here. So if it's 140 watt lamp, um, and okay if it's 140 watt lamp I think we can have say 60 watt LED lamp that's not good okay let's reset that one and then let's go and select the same fitting I think we have this one Diana LED also so we have conventional Diana LED and LED Diana <laughs> so let's select and go for maybe 74 watts and now the filter says this one so we can select a narrow beam and uh, this is a wet okay again please ask the manufacturer or lighting supplier what the codes means but um, okay let's go and select this for the meantime the let's go and select this one what is the meaning of this so high quality LED with narrow road lighting distribution Okay, I think this is the best because our our road is, is narrow, it's two lane only, so I think this is the best. So once selected, go and click this dialogs and it will go to your download option and then click that one and then it will go to your, now it's here now, in your dialogs file. So we will just copy this um, road this is the good thing about Dialux Evo because you can compare different fittings. If you want, we can also go for sodium lamp later. <laughs> if you still prefer to see what is the effect of the sodium lamp. So let's go and duplicate road. Okay, we can create a new road. We can duplicate this road or we can duplicate the road with the luminaire, luminaire arrangement. So I will, I think I need to just duplicate the road with luminar arrangement because we will still be using the 10 meter spacing so now it goes here automatically and now we will change the fitting into the diana led so let's place luminar in this arrangement with the led led fitting and then apply okay now i think this is changed so if we go and run the calculation results and see how it will look like and see the result and yes it's also good Lumin the candela everything is nice I think this his spacing is really easy to get the lux value but sometimes if you do the road lighting calculation if you really want to compete with other manufacturer because I told you the first objective is to lessen the quantity of the pole and the luminaire. So it means you need to increase the spacing of the pole. This one, he said 10 meters, so we cannot do anything about it. We can just play on the wattage and the height of the pole. So, but, but based on his requirements, I think we can easily achieve the lux value. Because he specifically mentioned the spacing of the pole. So let's go and try if we can make this height of the pole at 6 meters. If we can still get the lux value. Let's say we'll, we will run it. And check. And still yes. Yeah, 
this is fine so it means same parameters i just lowered the the pole height into six meters because before it's eight meters but still we get the lux value okay and what if i change the wattage of the luminaire so let's go and select other luminaire the same diana but we will see for example 54 watts and we still go for the narrow beam click this one and then say used so let's replace this one into the lower wattage of diana led and then apply and then let's run the calculation here and still it's okay so I think for you uh, my subscriber you can use even a 54 watt LED luminaire but of course it's our product but uh, I don't know if it's the same uh, light output or lumen output from other manufacturer so yeah but if um, again for the conventional if you want to reduce also the the lux value I mean the, the wattage then maybe we can also again play with that one so let's go and select um, lower wattage of uh, the conventional metal halide so let's go and reset this one and select the HIT select the Diana and then before we selected the 140 watt what about if we use maybe 90 90 watts so let's go and select this 90 watts and then click this one and then let's replace this one with the new 90 watt metal halide okay select this one and then apply and then let's make the same height which is six meters and then let's run the calculation it seems that there's a red okay so we did run the calculation now and let's see okay so now we found one red here and it's the overall uniformity oh this is the most challenging part this is only 0.35 and the requirements is 0.40 what if we change the boom angle into 10 degrees let's see now it's fine see by using a uh, lower wattage which is 90 watt and lower height of the pole which is only six meters with of course the requirements which is a 10 meter spacing of the pole we still achieve the lux value here both in led and conventional metal halide so yeah i think you have now the solutions you can use this one or you can uh, look for the right fittings in your design so that's it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Goodbye.